And just like Dow, we have a new member in the bloodline. Jimmy has now been taken out of the bloodline, but by who, you ask? We'll talk about that in just a bit. Let's first get right into Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes, man, starting off the show strong as he should because he is our new champion. Listen, this is the Cody Rhodes that we need right here. Cody just keeping it simple, not saying too much. Didn't really cry as much as he was on Monday. I get it's emotional. However, he's just ready for his next competitor. His next competitor could be anybody. And we'll figure out who those two candidates are at the end of this show. But let's talk about our first match. LA Knight versus Bobby and Escobar. I must say it was a really good match. I thought all those three guys, they, 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 they deserve to be facing someone like Cody Rhodes. However, you know, there was a lot of shenanigans in this match. We had, obviously, Escobar and his team come out and interfere. Then we had the Street Profits come out and interfere. Then Electra Lopez tried to get involved, but who comes to save the day? It is Zelina freaking Vega. So excited, actually, to see Zelina Vega, and hopefully Andrade do something more. However, in that match, LA Knight wins. Yeah. So we'll tell you who LA Knight's about to be facing next week in just a bit. However, though, right after that, um, we have, man, it, you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready for this? Paul Heyman comes out and he's he's doing his promo, saying his things and just kind of saying it's okay. Roman lost. Cody won. However, Solo just wasn't okay with that. He says losing gets consequences. What does that mean for Jimmy Uso that also did lose? Well, it looked like at first Solo was giving a hug to Jimmy, and right after the hug, it looks like somebody came from behind, and that somebody being Toma Tonga. Oh my God, man! They destroyed Jimmy Uso, Solo, and Toma Tonga. Yeah, they destroyed, destroyed Jimmy. And Paul Heyman was just in disbelief, and when Paul Heyman decided to call Roman Reigns, Solo took that phone smash it i mean step on that phone i don't know what's about to happen but is solo like the new tribal chief i'm not 100 sure it looks like roman reigns probably also coming as face when he does come back whenever he comes back this next one was a little disappointing because we had cameron cameron grimes which i feel like he should be pushed to the moon but i'm guessing wwe doesn't feel that way so they put him up against braun breaker the match went a little less than probably five minutes, maybe three minutes at tops. Braun Breaker doing what he does best with a spear. And then Cameron Grimes hopes to even do anything on the main roster. So Braun Breaker wins his first match on WWE SmackDown. We didn't have Bailey. Bailey comes out and just so excited, just being happy, Bailey. And she's just telling the crowd, thank you. Thank you for everything. She already has uh, a a person in mind who she wants to actually defend the title to. Um, however, before she can even say who it was, Tiffy Tom, Tiffany Stratton comes out and pretty much just tries to get her own title shot. But, Ni but uh, Bailey says, no, I really had someone in mind like Naomi. So Naomi comes out. Naomi and Tiffy Tom get into it. They get into a match. And Naomi wins. So Naomi versus Bailey also happening next week. Chelsea Green, Piper Nippins versus Jade and Bianca. Do we see a new women's tag team in Jade and Bianca? Very quick match as well. Shout out to Chelsea Green, still doing her damn thing. Piper Nivens as well. However, you know who won this match, right? It is Jade Cargill going for that pin as well. So Jade Cargill and Bianca, not sure if they're actually like a legit tag team, but they're looking really good. Their they're, they're costumes or their gear, not costumes, their gear uh, were matching as well. So I'm really excited what happens with that. And um, right after that, though, Kevin Owens. Oh, by the way, let me go back to that... Um, that Chelsea Green and Piper Nivens match. I'm not if I know I'm not going crazy. There was like a flick or something. Like, I don't know who may be showing up. Like Alexa Bliss, because it wasn't the women's match. I don't know. But I seen a little glitch. I seen a little flicker. We just I want to go ahead and bring that up just in case we see one next week. But now we're going to the main event, which was Kevin Owens versus AJ and Rey Mysterio. Definitely the match of the night, guys. And the winner of this match actually goes on till next week to go ahead and fight LA Knight. Yeah. To figure out who actually goes one 
on one with Cody Rhodes. Listen, you got to go back and watch this match because these guys were on fire. All three of them. But what do you expect when you have some of the goats in the middle of the ring here? So Kevin Owens, AJ Styles, Rey Mysterio. When it actually looks like Kevin Owens may have had the win, AJ Styles comes up with that win, man. And looks like we now have a feud to continue in LA Knight and AJ Styles. Really good SmackDown overall, guys. You got to go and do your part now. Go and watch those highlights. Thank you for watching Mr. Know Your Wrestling. Go back and watch some of my videos as well if you guys haven't. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much. My name is Mr. Know Your Wrestling. I'm out. I'll see you on the next one. Laters.